Hello everyone, I'm Lila. Welcome to my dreamland. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this bench. Can okay, now rotate this a little bit. We have the copy holder here. <laughs> now let's uh, open a new part file in millimeter. Okay, first we draw the we draw the path on the right plane. So select right plane and make sketch. And draw the reference uh, center line first. Pass through the center line. Okay, I'm not gonna um, and select the center line again. These are the reference center line. So escape and select again. Draw another one. Okay, now give, give the smart dimension. The distance between these two is 30 millimeter. Okay, now I uh, select the three-point arc, draw a three-point arc like this. This. Now uh, select the end point of the three-point arc, hold the control. Select the center line and the other end point, make them uh, symmet symmetric and a green check. Okay, now this is the, uh, this is the middle point of this, uh, of the, this A. Okay. Now we draw another three-point arc. Okay, one more. I want uh, this one on this edge. So, okay, I click here. Okay, and then another one draw from here. So like this way. Okay. Now escape the sketch. We add some relation, hold the control this one and this one, make them a tangent. Okay. Also this one and this one tangent. Okay, of okay. course okay. this one and hold the control this one, make them tangent. Now we proceed this a little bit. So move this up. Okay, so this part that uh, they connected, maybe remove, uh, show the relation here. I don't want uh, this anymore, so delete this relation and uh, hide the relation here. So now we can move this up a little bit. So. Is it still here? Okay, uh, show the show the relation. Oh. I'm going to delete this one. Delete. Okay. Now hide the relation. We can move this one. Okay. I, I know we uh, mistakenly. I mistakenly um, delete the tangent relation. So I end again. Select this arc. Select this arc. Hold Control. Select this one, and make it tangent. Okay. Now I'll uh, drag this down a little bit. This this is the this is the food connected to the floor. Okay, so we drag this up. Make it look like this. I change the dimension here. I want to change to thirty five. Okay, let's change to thirty five. Let's drag this down. I want to make this bench a little bit uh, a taller than the one I, I made it before. So like this, okay. I'm gonna drag on a drag on a position, proceed this a little bit. This one and uh, hold this one, made them tangent. Tangent, okay. Okay. Now um, I select the line, connect, uh, draw from a line from this point, draw a line tangent with this one. So the tangent already here, so we do not need to end the relation. Okay, now I can see the uh, smart dimension. So the distance of this smallness, I want to make it a 0.2 millimeter. Okay, from the select. Okay, now hide the relation. 
do it in here. Okay, now I'm gonna mirror this. So mirror entity, make a mirror. Select the lines we want to mirror, all of them. Mirror about the center line. Center line here. Okay, green check. Okay, now this is the this is legs of the bench. Um, you can fully define this, but I just want to. Oh, okay. I forgot about this. So, distance of the face of the bench, I want to make like 40 millimeter. Okay. Uh, I I only want want to uh, want, want to fix the distance of this and the height and the small uh, small uh, small uh, line here. So only the three of the dimension. And you can fully define the dimension of this sketch, or you can um, leave it like this and adjust the position of all these uh, all these arcs uh, if you think it's not good. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna exit the sketch, so leave like this. So slowly cl uh, click twice and name it pass and legs like this. Okay, now end another. Uh, reference play the same so gonna uh, this is the the small the small uh, small line here is our first reference the relation is is perpendicular and then pass this point in the point and the green check okay now I'm gonna select this plane and make a sketch can okay, rotate this until you think the position is okay okay now I draw I'm gonna use the slot here Try the slot and draw the horizontal line like this. Okay, this is the slot uh, slot shape I want. I'm gonna give the dimension. So the distance of this, I want to give like two millimeter, two millimeter, and the distance from this and this distance is one millimeter. Okay, select the exist the dimension and the. Uh, select the center of the slot and uh, hold control and select this uh, this short line here and make them pierce and the relation green check and this is fully defined now now we uh, exist the sketch uh, slowly click twice and name it profile legs okay now use the swap base so this is the the profile legs and this is the Pass legs. Okay, this is leg we ha we want and a green check. Okay, this is the legs. And I'm gonna use the doom to the small end point here. I want to do make it seems nice. Select this face. And the here continuous doom. I'm gonna uh, uncheck this and the. the Distance of this is one millimeter. Okay, this looks nice. So, green check, and this part too also. Select this face, and the, the uncheck the continuous doom, and the, the distance is one millimeter, and the green check. Okay, now um, the the pro uh, the path legs. I'm gonna show. Let's select this and show this uh, reference. Uh, so this uh, show this reference scratch. Uh, we're gonna use it. Uh, use this when we made it, made the hand uh, made the back of this bench. And uh, now we also select the right plane and uh, make a sketch. This time the sketch is for the back of this um, of this bench. Okay. Now we select the three point arc. Um, if you put the mouse on this three-point arc, you can see the middle point of this arc. So uh, we're gonna use this um, this midpoint and uh, draw a uh, draw another three-point arc and I draw like this. Okay, now select. Okay, you can adjust the position of three-point arc. I'm gonna give the smart dimension from this point to this line. Give like uh, forty-five millimeter. It's 45 millimeter. Okay. You can adjust the position of this. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, make another three point arc from this point. So draw a three point arc. Select. And make them tangent, this one, and hold control, this one. Make them tangent. Okay, 
Now drag this up a little bit and make it like that. Okay, now I'm going to use the line again. Draw a, a short line from this point a line like this okay now also this line and this arc make them the relation tangent and give the distance of this line this is also 0.2 millimeter okay I'm gonna drag this give it a uh, position Okay, seems okay for me now. This is the uh, this is the back of this bench. I'm gonna uh, leave the sketch like this and the exist the sketch, and uh, slowly click twice and name it pass back. Okay, now I'm gonna end another uh, reference play, reference play, and also this is the first reference and the perpendicular. The second is this point, so green check. The first plane is going to hide it, hide all this plane we used also. So uh, this plane, right click and make a sketch, rotate this a little bit. So we're going to draw the, the same the same straight slot here on this face. Uh, remember you, sh uh, you should make this this first line uh, horizontal, so like this. Okay, now give the smart dimension. So the distance between these two is 2 mm and the, the center distance distance is one millimeter okay now select select the center and hold the control and select this line here make them pierce and check exist the sketch okay now I can make the back for this uh, bench the swap base is the uh, also you can you can rename this uh, profile back and the pass is the pass back this is back you have and the green check. Okay, also we end the doom on this end point, end point, end face, and uncheck this continuous doom and the distance is one on the green check. Okay, this is the uh, uh, part of the uh, part of the frame of this bench. So I'm gonna um, hide this, hide this sketch. Let's see. Yeah, it seems to look like this. Now we're gonna make the make the uh, this is a uh, handle, the support handle uh, on this on this sketch. So also I'm gonna uh, show all of all of this. I'm gonna use them. So show this one, and show the back. Show both of them. You can see now the, the green line here. We can see them now. Okay. Now uh, also select the right plane and then make another sketch. Okay, this time we draw another uh, reference center line, horizontal center line. Should be horizontal. Okay, so the distance, smart dimension is the distance from the uh, original point to this uh, center line. Distance twenty millimeter. Okay, this is our reference geometry. Uh, also, I'm going to draw a vertical center line from the original point, like this. Okay, now we draw another uh, three-point arc. And the, the, three, the two end point of this three-point arc is on this uh, first reference line. So like this. Okay, and then select. And uh, select the two end point of this uh, arc and the, the vertical, vertical, make them uh, the vertical reference line and make them symmetric and a green check. Okay, I'm not gonna use the uh, three point arc again. So draw another arc. 
try not to connect it with uh, with all the all the lines, just uh, a little bit apart from each other. So select. Okay, I'm gonna give them the smart dimension. It's tangent. Tangent. And I position this. Okay, now I'm gonna draw another three-point arc from this any point. Draw another three-point arc. Face on this way. Okay. Now also the relation is tangent. Tangent. Okay. Now I can uh, curve, curve this. Shape it like this, or uh, can shape it bigger. I'm gonna make this smaller. Okay. Drag this. Drag this inside a bit. Like this. Drag this down. Okay. I'm gonna um. This line and this outside line, I don't want them connected each other, just a little bit close but not connect. Maybe drag this down a little bit, like this. Just the position for this. Okay, now I'm gonna select the line again. Make um, from this end point to draw a short line. I give the dimension of this line. It's also 0.2 millimeter. Okay, now I can use the mirror entity and uh, select select this arc under the short line here and the mirror about this uh, vertical center line like this. Grand check. Okay. Okay, we need to end the relationship. So hold the control and uh, select uh, this line and uh, this arc. Make them tangent. Okay. And also this one and uh, this one. The control make them tangent. Now I'm gonna want uh, make this arc uh, a little bit close to this uh, to this back, so I'm gonna uh, drag this. Okay, I'm gonna leave the sketch like this. Make them a little bit close to each other. So exist the sketch, and I'm gonna end another uh, reference play. So select this line here, and the relation is perpendicular. And the coincidence with this end point and the green check. Okay, now I'll right click this, make another sketch, rotate this a little bit, and I will draw another uh, stride slot. You can copy the other uh, the stride slot you made it before. Also, you can make a new one. I'm gonna make a new one here. So uh, remember, you're gonna draw a straight line. See the yellow sign here? The straight line. Sh you should see this. Okay, now draw a slot line like this, and I give the smart dimension. The same size. The distance of this is two millimeter, and the center point distance is one millimeter. Select, hold the control. Select the center, and this can zoom in. And this short line here, make them pierce. Okay, I'm going to check. Okay, now I'm gonna um, it's fully defined. Exists the sketch. Okay, I'm gonna do another uh, swipe base, sketch seven, and uh, this is the patch, the pass handle. So let's check. So it looks like this. Okay, and I'm gonna check. Okay, it's just a little bit connected, not really connected. Okay, so this is the handle of this um, of this bench. Uh, I'm gonna end the doom on this 
on this end phase also. So this one, and uncheck the continuous zoom. The distance is one. Go and check. Okay. And this one is the same. Two. Uncheck this. And go and check. Okay, this is handle. Uh, now I, I don't use this anymore, so I'm going to hide this sketch. This one and hide this one. Okay, hide this. But I, I want to use this one to do the uh, coffee holder on, on this sketch. So the, this is web 4. I'm going to uh, choose this and uh, show the pass, pass handle. Show this. So this is the pass handle. I want to use this reference, uh, uh, reference lines. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, select the right, the right plane again, make a sketch, and draw a three-point arc. See, this is the this is the sketch, the handle sketch. I'm gonna draw a sketch on this line. So, draw a three-point arc, and connect it to this line. Or something like this. Okay, now select, get some uh, relation this one, and hold control this one make them tangent okay and now I'm going to draw another small short line from here and the horizontal line like this and the, the distance of this is I, I won't give like one millimeter one millimeter okay now let's see if the height is okay let me rotate and check the view and a normal too I want to drag this a little bit longer longer a little bit outside drag this part you can see the angle here it's like a small branch okay just leave that i think it's okay distance of this is one okay, now i'm gonna um exist the sketch and then slowly click twice and then rename it pass handle holder this is the coffee holder okay now gonna uh, another reference play path through this line here and this perpendicular and the second reference is this point so green check okay now the plan six I gonna um, make the make a sketch on this plane this this time also like the straight slug uh, horizontal line okay this time I want to make this branch a little bit thinner so click these two and then make it 1.5 millimeter and also this one and the distance of this is one millimeter it's also one millimeter okay rotate this a little bit select the center of this Select the center and uh, hold the control. Select this line here. Or select the pass. Make them pierce. Drag this a bit shorter. Okay, now select the center point, midpoint of this, hold the control. Select the midpoint of this, hold the control. Select this line here and make them pierce. I'm going to check. Okay, now exist the sketch. Now make another, um, another swap. This is the new sketch we made and uh, this is the pass hand holder. I'm going to check. Okay. Now hide all this plane. Hide this reference plane. Hide all of them. Okay, now also I handed the pass handle. Hand 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 this. Okay. Now let's uh, end another another reference plane here. We're gonna draw the draw the a uh, ring. To hold uh, the holder ring for the for the coffee coffee cup, so the second reference is uh, perpendicular with this face, 
and I pass this line. Pass this line. Okay. So green check. This is the tangent top plane with the straight slot. The plane seven. I'm gonna uh, select this plane and make the extrude base. Normal tool. Let me see like this. Okay. Normal tool. Okay. Now use the center point, the center line. From the from the middle point, draw a center. Draw a vertical center. Uh, center line. Reference center line. Okay. Now we draw a circle. Use the center circle. Draw a circle. So this. Uh, this edge to this edge is one millimeter. So I'm gonna draw something on this on this face. Okay, now I'm gonna give the smart dimension of this. It's twelve millimeter. Great. I'm gonna reposition this. Make it inside this. Hide the plane seven. Okay, now um, the dimension. So from this point to this line. Okay, this point five. I want to make like a uh, six point five millimeter. It's the midpoint. Okay, and I use the uh, offset entity. Distance is one millimeter, and this this line, and I make it reverse inside. Let me check. Okay, now the sketch is done. Just the exist the sketch. I'm gonna do the revolve with ring. So the distance of this is 1.5 millimeter. And here, uh, drag on off. I uh, click the drag on. The degree is 10 degree. Drag on a little bit. Okay, green check. This is the coffee, hold, coffee holder. I'm gonna do a fillet. So the distance radius is 0.2 millimeter. Face, face edge, to face edge. Okay, go and check. Good. Like this. Okay, now this is the uh, half of the of the frame is done. I'm gonna make the make the strip, make the strip of uh, of this bench. Okay, now we're gonna make the um, make the strip face of this bench. See the uh, see the roll back here. So I'm gonna um, the small hand and the roll back. Roll back to like uh, sweep two. Two. Okay, roll back to here. Uh, roll back to to roll back to this face. So only the only the legs and the, the back, we're gonna draw. Uh, we're gonna cut some cut some of these arcs off on the inside face of this. Okay, roll back to this place. See, roll back to this place, and uh, select the right plane again, and uh, make a extrude cut. Extrude cut. Okay, now we're gonna select the line line two. Draw some. Follow this line. Follow this this yellow line. Follow down. And drag like this. See here. I want uh, connected uh, this point, and the drag follow drag drag follow this this yellow line. The line. Follow the follow the yellow line and drag drag down. Follow this yellow line. Drag it down. Now give some uh, relation, so drag this angle a little bit. So
So this line and hold the control and select this line, make them collinear. So this one is, is black, fully defined. Now hold, uh, drag this down a little bit. This this one, hold the control and select this line, make them collinear. This cannot be this. It's a face. Okay. So just uh, drag like this with the same face. Okay, so also this line and the, this line make them collinear. Okay, gonna cut part of this off. Okay, included all the place I want. Okay, now we're gonna, uh, we do not need to fully define this, this exists the sketch. And uh, uh, this this cut extrude the from the sketch plane here. I gonna want to select the offset. This means the sketch plane is offset from the from the uh, right plane. The distance is one millimeter. One millimeter and the offset. I want to cut uh, cut point left, cut inside like this. So see the see the yellow part now is uh, what we're gonna cut off. So the distance of this is the throw. I'm gonna go and check. Okay. See, um, after cut, the 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 inside the uh, the inside face is like this. We're gonna draw some uh some some sketch on this plane and extrude. Then we got the strips for the for the bench. Okay. Not gonna uh, select this plane. Select this plane and uh, make the extrude base select the is to the base okay now we're gonna uh, use the uh, convert convert entity convert entity and uh, select this face and the green check okay. see the black line here so the black is fully defined this is the uh, outside uh, is the out out layer of this of this face so I'm gonna use the use the line to, to draw some draw draw some strip you can just uh, the the width of the strip and they do not need to be the same so we do not need to worry about the distance so skip and, and then select a line again draw another one okay skip draw another one okay skip see if like this we're gonna use the trim entity trim this small one off. So now this top one, top part is one strip. Uh, is one strip is the uh, is the sketch of one strip, and this is the uh, this is the next one. So I'm gonna repeat this uh, until until this this point. So I'm gonna skip some of these videos. Okay, now here, so here we should uh, take care. So we're gonna select the line here, draw a line from this point down to this part. We can draw down to this part. Okay, and then um, skip select line again, draw another line. To this part, skip. Now trim this off. Trim this small one and this one. Off. So this one is the whole piece, and from from this this line uh, to the right, we're gonna make uh, the other the other squares. So
Okay, now uh, I finished the drawing these uh, strips. You can just uh, the distance. So the uh, so the the longer one is the is the strip, and the, the shorter one is the distance between these strips. So you can just uh, the position of them, and then make them seem similar. Or the, the I think the distance, the gaps between them uh, doesn't matter. So just uh, make them. So if you if you leave it like this, you can just do these gaps later. Well, I want to make them uh, a little bit close to each other. Okay, now I'm gonna leave like this. Oh, okay. So this sketch is done. We just uh, uh, exit the sketch and see this is now gonna gonna extrude. The distance of this is 150 50 millimeter. So this is the this is the strip face. Of this um, of this bench, and then green check. Okay. Okay. Now we only need uh, what uh, what we left is we're gonna end the end the uh end the uh, reference reference play as the mirror plane. So we're gonna mirror all all of uh, all of this part to the other the other the other end of the bench. So now I'm gonna um, drag this down. So you can see this is the <laughs> it's uh, almost uh, the whole part based on you have. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, do the reference geometry plane, and uh, this time the reference the first reference is the right plane, and uh, the distance is uh, 76 millimeter. I uh, under flip this way in the middle. Okay, and then green check. Okay, now I'm gonna mirror all the other things to 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 that part. So now let's do the mirror. The mirror plane is this plane, and we want to. And this is sweep. This is the handle. And this uh, sweep five. Let's look at this. And we fit it. See this. Okay. And then let's hide this plane. This is the bench we made here. I'm gonna change the color, or you can change the material of this. I'm gonna change the color of this. I'm going to this color. This is the coffee holder. Okay, this is the bench we made together today uh, in this video, and uh, because I'm gonna make the make the scene of the like the telephone booth and the, the street line and this bench, I'm gonna assembly a scene uh, later. So, and I'm gonna uh, try to make the other the the other kind of um, kind of decorations for my scene. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try to do my best. Okay. So uh, hope you like this bench. Um, thanks for watching. So I'll see you next time. Bye bye.